I'm going to show you the most successful way to get the best results when printing on heavy cardstock, and in this case on a glossy coated cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and do this printing from the manual bypass tray, and when you use the bypass tray, you want to put the side that you want to be printed upon face down in the tray. So this is a coated one-sided stock where it's glossy on one side. If I want to print on the glossy side, I put that side face down in the bypass. I make sure that the guides on the bypass are snug on both sides of the paper. And now if you come over to the LCD display, you'll see that it prompts me to tell it if I have a thicker paper. So if that disappears quickly, if you don't make your choice fast enough, you can come back to the paper button. You can touch over here, the bypass is the choice on the right hand side with the little hand icon there. And after I select that, I can say change tray settings. It will bring me back to that screen that popped up when we first put the paper in. Now in this case, I'm using 100 pound cardstock, which is the thickest paper. So I'm going to select thick four. And thick four simply indicates the heaviest paper that the machine can successfully run. So once I've made that setting, I simply hit close and the machine is ready to go. If we want to make a copy, we'd simply put our original in the document feeder and hit start. But I think in most cases when people are printing on nice heavy stocks, they're printing from their computers. So I want to go over to our computer and show you how to make the appropriate settings to get the ultimate printing quality. So let's do that now. All right, so now we've made the settings on the printer itself, telling it that we have the heavy card stock in the bypass. And remember, we designated that it was thick paper four. So we need to make the same settings on our print driver. So once we've opened the document that we want to print, we're going to go ahead and go up to our file, print, or you can do control P, however you go about getting to your print driver menu. We make sure that we have selected the appropriate printer, and then we're going to want to choose properties. Now once we've chose properties, we're going to come up here in the upper left and click on the tab that's labeled basic. And what we need to do is we need to come down now to the lower right hand portion and choose the button labeled paper settings for each tray. Once I choose that, I come down in this lower of the two boxes and I use the down arrow to scroll to the bottom, select the bypass tray, and in this case it's already set to thick paper four, but it might very well have been set to plain paper or another setting. You want to make sure that you do have thick four selected and then say OK. And now we're just going to tell the machine that we want to print to the paper bypass and it knows now it has thick four. We're going to press OK and we're going to hit print. And now it's going to use the optimum settings to get the best possible quality for your high printed images. And voila, we now have our 100 pound coated cardstock with an absolutely beautiful image of those maple leaves. It's really amazing how far these color printing systems have come and the quality professional work that you can do right in your own office.